I don't even know why I thought this was possible. What in the world made me believe that this type of success was for somebody like me? I don't know what I was thinking. Now sit back and listen. If you can tell yourself exactly what I just said in a negative way, you can feed yourself positive affirmations. Instead of saying, I don't know what I was thinking, if you didn't reach a certain goal, say next time I will reach that goal. Instead of saying, I don't know what I was thinking, if you didn't get that certain job, say, that is their loss, I will find a better job. Because we have to continue to build ourselves up every day. When we wake up in the morning, we have to tell ourselves subtleties, certain things that we need to hear in order to get out of bed with a positive mind frame so that we can go out and attack the things that we need to attack. So we can go out and set the examples that we need to set. Because guess what? Whether you realize it or not, people are watching you. People are watching you. Your wife is watching you, or your girlfriend's watching you. Your kids are watching you. You are setting a much bigger example than you ever could understand. If you just stop to think about it, people are watching you to see how you handle adversity and you don't even know it. People are gathering strength from you rising up above shortfalls and you don't even know it. So not only do you owe it to yourself, you owe it to them to put one foot in front of the other. That's all you gotta do. Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba said it best. We only gotta win one game. Just put your boots on and lace up your boots and go to work. That's all it takes every morning. One foot after the other. Step by step, step by step, step by step, step by step. Because for some reason, we've got this grandiose misconception that success is this big reckoning, big major event that just suddenly takes place. And the person that is successful never went through any types of trials and tribulations, never went through any adversities, never had growing pains or the hunger pains of wanting to be something that they weren't, never had to keep fighting for it. They just all of a sudden were successful because they are lucky. They are just all of a sudden successful because success is for them. I don't know where that logic came from, but I will tell you now, we need to lose that logic. And if you feel that type of logic creeping up in your brain, you tell your inner brain that no, I am worthy of success and I will do what it takes and fight, scratch, kick and claw for the success that I deserve because I am worthy of this success. My current situation does not define who I will be in the future. My current situation does not define who I am now, nor does my past define my future. I will carve out my own future. I will carve my own way. I will go to the fork in the road and go straight. If the goal and the pathway to my prosperity is straight, I will not turn left. I will not turn right. If what I want is straight ahead. I'm gonna play by my own rules. I'm gonna live the way God says, but in the manner that is appropriate for me. I will attack the day with energy and aggression as if I were on the football field, but I am in the field of life. And every game is a major event. Every game is the Super Bowl, because now your life is at stake. It is not just an L on a record, it is your livelihood at stake. So every game is the national championship. Every game is the Super Bowl. So be prepared. Are you prepared to go out and play until you have nothing left to give? Are you prepared to give your all for what you want? 
Are you prepared to sacrifice the things of today for the things that you will receive in return tomorrow for your hard work today? Are you prepared to do that? Are you prepared to work when everyone else is having fun? Are you prepared to accept the challenge of doing difficult things? Are you prepared? All you have to do is change the way you think. All you have to do is embed that in your mind. All you have to do is tell yourself over and over and over and over, success will become who I am.